am so not a morning person. Honestly, I think a big reason that I decided to do the last half of my high school online and most of my college online is that it eliminated the need for me to wake up early. That is just how much I detest early mornings. And I saw this video by Morgan Yates where she woke up at 6 a.m. to work out every day for a week, which first of all, great video, definitely recommend it. I will link it in the description. But second, I was like, I, I really wanna try this, whether for a video or just for me, this seems like a really cool challenge. I'm really interested to see how I do as a very not morning person, waking up early without the option to hit that snooze button because I've committed to filming this video. I have a workout to do, I have filming to do. Will I be able to get into a good rhythm with it? Will it become easier day after day? Will I actually feel good with those early morning endorphins or am I gonna be dragging my feet the entire way? And also how will my body feel? How will my mind feel? How is this gonna affect the rest of my day after waking up at 6 a.m. So yes, for the next week, I am gonna wake up at 6 a.m. to work out. I am gonna give myself two rest days. So I'll be working out five of the seven days this week. And on my off days, I am still gonna aim to wake up at 6 a.m. to keep that habit, but I don't have to work out. So I can go be a zombie on the couch if I want to. Rest days are really important, pregnant or not. And as always, listen to your body, make sure that you're treating it well with both exercise and sleep. Before we get into my week of 6 a.m. workouts, I wanna give a big Thank you to this video sponsor, Fabletics. This top that I'm wearing now, as well as all the cute outfits that you'll be seeing throughout the week are from Fabletics and are new for January. New products will launch throughout the month every Thursday on the Fabletics website. So there's a link in the description, check it out for new weekly drops. And if you wanna join their monthly VIP program for extra savings, you can get any two bottoms for $24 plus 50% off everything else and free shipping on your first VIP order. All right, as I am filming this day one, starts tomorrow. So I'm gonna try and be asleep by 9 p.m. My goal is to still get nine hours of sleep despite waking up so early. So hopefully I can do it. Here we go. <laughs> All right, 6 a.m. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is pitch black outside still. Steven, my dear sweet husband, please forgive me. <laughs> All right, day one, good morning. It is 6, 10 a.m. right now, and I feel relatively awake. I got a pretty good night's sleep last night, all things considered. I got in bed at 8 p.m., but I didn't actually fall asleep, I think, until around like 9.30, 9.45. My body was just confused. I was like, what is, what is going on? This is not bedtime. And even though I had like my eye mask on, my podcast on, I just couldn't, I, I wasn't sleepy. So I'm hoping tonight will be easier since I am waking up so early. Hopefully I'll be tired earlier, but I didn't even snooze my alarm. Also, I, I'm gonna attempt, a, a keyword attempt, to do this without coffee. <laughs> my OBGYN said I can have coffee and caffeine as long as I keep it under 200 milligrams a day. And the latte K-cups that I have are 110 milligrams, so I definitely can have it, but I haven't been having coffee regularly every day in my pregnancy. And so I don't wanna just all of a sudden have seven days straight of caffeine. So if I need it later in the day, I will make a cup of coffee if I feel like I'm just absolutely falling asleep, but I feel like I'm okay. I don't need the coffee, I want the coffee. <laughs> but uh, the smoothie will suffice hopefully. Also, it did not occur to me that it would not be bright outside yet. I just checked my weather app and it says sunrise is 6.52. So I'm gonna be like on the end of my workout when the sun finally starts to rise. It kind of feels like I'm waking up early for like a flight. You know, when you would have like a 6 or 7 a.m. flight and like wake up at 4 and everything's dark outside and you're just kind of like quietly moving around the house. That's what it feels like, except I don't get to go on a flight to a fun place. I am gonna get on the Peloton bike. So with this video, I want to try a variety of workouts throughout the week to see what feels best. And also I feel like doing the Peloton every day has started to get a little bit repetitive for me. So it'll be fun to use this video as kind of a vehicle to try some different workouts that I haven't really been doing. But for today, day one, since we're getting in the groove of waking up early, I figure today will be our just Peloton day. I'm gonna aim for 45 minutes, but we'll see how I feel. Oh, also I didn't put on my Apple Watch. I have to go sneak back in the bedroom and get that. I'm gonna drink this and then 
would hopefully be on the bike by 6.30. Workout outfit of the day from Fabletics, of course. This is the exhale outfit from the January collection. And we have the Oasis Twist Front Sports Bra and the Oasis High Waisted Twist 7 8 leggings. They have that same little twist design on the side that the sports bra has in the front. Oh, and you guys know I'm a sucker for pockets. These leggings have convenient little pockets on both sides. All right, it is 6.32. Here we go, workout time. It is 7.20 a.m. and my day is already off to a good start. I finished my workout. I did the 30 minute Hamilton ride and then just a 15 minute scenic ride on my own. So I did hit my 45 minute goal and the Hamilton ride is like probably my all time favorite Peloton ride. And so I figure it's my first day waking up at 6 a.m. I'm pretty sleepy. Might as well give myself like my best chance at success and feeling good. And I feel great. The ride was awesome. I, I think I maybe was a little bit slower than I would have been if I had worked out at like 10 or 11, but the difference wasn't drastic. Like I feel like I still hit a good cadence, I was keeping up, and I felt good. It was also really cool because it was getting light outside as I was riding, so I opened the shutters in the Peloton room, and I kept just like looking out the window and seeing the pretty sunrise. It was really awesome. Am I gonna become like a 6 a.m. person? <laughs> I didn't think I would, but I feel awesome. I feel energized, I don't feel too sleepy, I don't feel like I need coffee. We'll see how this keeps up later in the day, but as of right now, maybe this is gonna be my new thing. I feel good, I had fun. The hardest part is getting past that just like super sleepy grogginess, and I feel like working out pushes me past that. Like if I had just woken up at 6 a.m. but not done a workout, I feel like I'd still just be a zombie on the couch right now, but instead, I feel awake and great and ready to get on with my day. All right, it is 8.06 and I, we are going to bed. <laughs> I feel like I had a really good productive day. I felt energized. I felt happy, like I was in a good mood. Because I woke up so early, I got so much done early in the day and that just made me feel like I accomplished a lot. And working out in the morning, I think really like energized me. It was like my natural coffee. Like I just felt ready to go, even though it was early. I did start to get really sleepy around five o'clock, but that's all right. Cause that's only like three hours before my bedtime. So I'm hoping I have an easier time falling asleep tonight, but I'm still giving myself like almost an hour to just lay in bed, lights off, eye mask on and try to fall asleep before I like really want to be asleep at nine. So <laughs> I don't think the sleeping position is going to work, but we'll figure something out. See you at six. <laughs> Six a.m. too early. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> when my alarm went off, I thought today is gonna be rough. I feel so sleepy. I am not ready to wake up. But I got up and I turned on the coldest water in the sink and splashed my face, washed my face. I did my skincare. I put on some sunscreen since I'm actually gonna be going on a hike today. And I feel Okay, <laughs> definitely more tired than yesterday. I would not be surprised if a nap or coffee or both are in my future today, but um, it is not as bad as I thought when my eyes would not open after that alarm. <laughs> so it is 6.17 right now. I'm gonna get dressed. And then like I said, today I'm gonna be going on a hike. And last night I was telling Steven about how that's my plan for my workout today. And he was like, I wanna go. And I was like, you're gonna wake up at 6 a.m. to go on a sunrise hike with me. And he said yes, and I doubted it, but he's up. <laughs> so I'm really excited. I got a hiking buddy today, and we're actually gonna go hike at the place where we got engaged, where he proposed to me like five years ago. Was it five? Yeah, five years ago. Wow. <laughs> so for today's outfit, we have the release outfit from the Comfy Bundle. These are the high-waisted printed power hold 7 8 leggings. And then on top is the Oasis Twist Front Sports Bra that I love, but in this really pretty baby blue color. And it is the Comfy Bundle, so it also comes with, ta-da, the super cozy Jody mock neck pullover. I'm so comfy in this, perfect for an early morning hike. And it's already 6.30, the trail's open open at sunrise, which I think if I recall yesterday is like 6.50. So kind of timed perfectly. Hopefully Steven's ready. Let's go. So we're in the car, but uh, we have to turn around now. 
Because guess who walked out of the house wearing their slippers and didn't realize it until just now? Now we're ready. go that was really nice yeah it was an awesome start to the day we did end up doing a little bit longer of a hike than I originally <laughs> planned I wanted to do like a three and a half mile loop but when we got down to the beach the tide was too high to walk along the beach back to our car so we had to like retrace back where we went it ended up being about five miles 4.8 4.8 miles. <laughs> I definitely think I'm gonna take a nap today. It is Sunday, so I feel like I have a little more leeway to just chill for the day. And I wouldn't be surprised if I end up taking one of my break days tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel waking up at six? I mean, I enjoyed it. I hope to do tomorrow because my first day at work and I am on an early start. You're gonna wake up at six with me? That's the plan. All right, 7 p.m., ignore the zit cream, but I am gonna start the process of going to bed. Probably gonna scroll TikTok for a little while before I actually turn the lights off, but I did successfully make it through the day without a nap and without coffee. I don't think I'll have trouble going to sleep tonight, hopefully. I also said that yesterday, though. <laughs> Day three, so today is gonna be one of my rest days. So I set my alarm for 6.45 instead of 6 a.m. That way I get a little bit of extra sleep, but I'm still not like messing with the sleep schedule I'm trying to set. And I just woke up naturally at 6.15 a.m. and I feel awake. What? I am annoyed at myself. <laughs> so like I said, I naturally woke up at 6.15, which is amazing. I was so happy about that. I slept for like nine and a half hours still, and I felt refreshed, I felt awake, I felt ready to go. But without the, like, the pusher of needing to get up and work out, I just laid in bed and scrolled on my phone. Steven woke up around 7.15, so then we laid there together and talked for a little while, but it's like 7.35 now, and this like almost hour and a half that I've been awake now has pretty much been nothing. I could have been sleeping. <laughs> I feel like I kind of wasted a little bit of that early start that even if I wasn't gonna like get up and get ready and be productive, I could have like intentionally gone and sat on the couch and played video games or like, I don't know, like actually relax instead of just laying in bed scrolling on my phone and not like paying attention. <laughs> So maybe the working out part is a big piece of me actually getting up and getting started at 6 a.m. But like I said, 7.35 now, and I am gonna get ready. So that's still an earlier start than I would normally get. Oh my gosh, I, I slept through my alarm. <laughs> Today it is not pitch black as I get up, but we do get a peek at this beautiful sunrise. I'm a little annoyed at myself. Today is the first day that I've overslept. <laughs> And honestly, I kind of set myself up for failure. I feel like for the first three days, I did a good job of going to bed early. So even though I was waking up early, I was still getting good sleep. Last night, I made the decision to stay up and watch The Bachelor. And so I got in bed around 10, 15, but I don't think I actually fell asleep until 11:30. And so my body was just not as ready to wake up right at six. So my alarm started going off at six. And like, I don't know if anyone else has ever experienced this. I remember one time I almost overslept for a flight because of this, but in my dream my alarm music was playing it was like music in my dream so I didn't like wake up with the alarm and it went off for like 20 minutes and then around like 6 25 Steven actually woke me up and he was like hey is that your alarm are you supposed to get up so <laughs> I ended up getting out of bed around 6 25 so still within the six o'clock hour but I feel like today was the first day that my body was like, we do we do not want to get up at six. <laughs> so I'm gonna make some breakfast and then we will do our workout of the day. Today, we are gonna try something new again. I am gonna do two YouTube workouts, one by The Fitness Marshall and one by Brett Larkin Yoga. So I'm gonna start with a 20 morning wake up yoga session that's specifically like a prenatal yoga, which is great. And then we'll do the 20 minute sweat session to kind of get me up, get me going, hopefully get me energized because I that extra 20 minutes of sleep did not do much. <laughs> 
I, I am tired. <laughs> All right, I'm doing it. I'm making a coffee. I'm having a coffee before I even attempt to work out. Coffee has been consumed and I feel so much better. I'm awake, let's do this. Today's outfit is the Revitalize outfit from Fabletics, of course. So on top, we have the Simone Sculptnet midi bra and I love midi bras like this, especially when I'm wearing the sports bra as just a top like this. Having that extra few inches of fabric right here is just my favorite. I just, I really, Really, really love it. I love the feel. I love the look. And then on the bottom, these are the Kessler 2 high waisted strappy 7 8 leggings. Really, really comfy and sleek. I love these two colors together too. And on the back, hopefully, you can see they have this really fun little strappy design. I feel so good. I feel energized. Oh, I should I should stop my workout on my watch. <laughs> so first with the yoga, after I finished that, I felt good, I felt calm, but awake. And then I started doing the fitness martial workout, which put me in a, a very different ready to start my day. The Brett Larkin yoga ready to start my day was like, I am ready to start my day. Welcome whatever it brings. <laughs> and the fitness martial ready to start my day was like, let's go. <laughs> now here's the thing, I, in that montage, <laughs> I'm going to include some footage of me doing the fitness martial dance workout. And that is a big fear for me. I have never been a good dancer. I have no rhythm. I grew up doing musical theater and dance just never came naturally to me. And so even without the filming aspect, I felt a little bit stiff, a little bit awkward getting into the movement and the workout. And then add the filming part in there and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so out of my comfort zone. But that's what I love about the fitness martial and his workouts is it's not about being perfect. It's not about changing the way you look. He's really about just like celebrating your body and having fun And so I feel like his message and his energy just really kind of gave me the confidence to just let go and just try my best And look stupid and share that with you guys too So even if you're a horrible dancer like me, don't be afraid to do dance workouts. They're really fun They're definitely a good workout. I was Sweating and it doesn't really feel like you're doing some crazy workout It just feels like you're dancing and having fun So I will link both of those videos the yoga and the the dance sweat session down in the description, but I feel good. I feel like this was definitely a good little movement session to start with after taking my day off. And if the coffee didn't fully wake me up, the fitness martial class definitely did. <laughs> day five, 6 a.m. Here we go. All right, good morning. I am feeling good. I got about eight and a half hours of sleep last night, so I'm happy with that. Today, we are going back to the Peloton. I'm gonna aim to do 45 minutes again, but today I also wanna do an arm section at some point during the ride. Sometimes the instructors include an arm section, sometimes they don't, so if the ride I choose doesn't have one, I'll just add one in myself. All right, I'm gonna eat this perfect bar, get dressed, and we'll get to it. This truly, truly gets easier every day. I'm almost enjoying waking up at six, which I never thought I would say. Today we have the Encore outfit and this actually hasn't launched yet. It's dropping week four of January. So be looking out for that. On top, we have the Lizzie half zip hoodie. I'm kind of wearing it off the shoulder, but you could also just wear it like this. I'm gonna take it off today though, since I'm doing a Peloton ride, I'm not going outside. So underneath that jacket, we have the Trinity high impact sports bra and I love this bra. It is high impact to the max. I feel fully just supported, ready for any kind of activity. And I love this purple color of the top and the bottom. On bottom, we have the high-waisted Motion 365 pocket legging. I feel like this is one of those sets that I can wear for any kind of exercise, any kind of movement or activity. It works for cycling, it would work for hiking, and post-pregnancy, I feel like this would be perfect for like high-intensity interval training where I'm doing a lot more movement and jumping around. Just a really great set and I love that it includes the jacket too. All right, it is 6.46. I am ready to start this Peloton ride. There is a beautiful sunrise starting outside so I'm gonna open up these windows and peek out as I ride because I can't believe I'm up early enough to do a sunrise ride. <laughs> All right, 
I just finished my Peloton ride. So I did 40 minutes, a 30 minute cycling ride, and then a 10 minute arm circuit. I feel really good. I feel awake. I stand by what I said that I feel like the exercise is kind of what wakes me up. So it is 7.34. I'm gonna go shower and get started with my work for the day. See you tomorrow. All right, 6 a.m. and it's day six. Let's do this. Last night I had a really hard time getting to sleep, but that's what I like about like aiming for nine hours is I got in bed at 8.30 and even though I didn't fall asleep until like 10.45, I still got over seven hours of sleep. And for me, I feel like as long as I get at least seven hours, I'm good. Seven hours is like adequate for me. I feel good, I feel fine, I don't feel too sleepy. And I woke up today feeling good and also just excited because today's actually our last workout of the video. Tomorrow, day seven, will be my second rest day. So I wanted to do some exercise outside of the house again today like we did on day two. And so I decided I'll just do a walk. I really like walking. It's nice to just get out, get some fresh air and take it easy. And so Steven decided he's gonna wake up too. That's why I'm not whispering today. He's up. <laughs> it's 6.15 right now. We're gonna try to leave here at 6.30. And we decided we're gonna go walk on the beach, which will be fun. And we're also gonna stop for Starbucks on the way. So I will be having coffee today. Our last outfit today we have the motivate outfit i love the contrast on the sports bra of like the deep blue color and then the light blue piping so so cute this is the freya sculpt knit sports bra it's made from their sculpt knit fabric which is a medium compression so it's light and stretchy but still makes me feel supported and then on the bottom we have the high-waisted sculpt knit essential legging again also in that super stretchy medium compression sculpt knit material there's more <laughs> this outfit it also comes with the Larissa fleece pullover, this nice little fluffy quarter zip, perfect for an early morning beach walk. And then I also have the flexibility of just taking it off, doing the sports bra thing once it starts to heat up because San Diego winter is still sports bra weather. Wow, look at that sky. Oh my gosh. How often do you get to see a sunrise like this, Steven? Oh, every day, because I just start every day so rigorously. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do a tall hot latte? Hot latte. And an impossible breakfast sandwich with no egg. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Steven's complaining that the tide's a little high. Look at that. Where are we gonna walk? Like we can walk with the surfer guy in the water. <laughs> I see plenty of room there. There's plenty of room. Maybe. All right, so we drove down to a spot with much more sand to walk on. So here we go. It's actually cold today. <laughs> so we ended up walking on the beach for about an hour. It was really nice, very like foggy and misty and like like magical. <laughs> I also just really enjoyed having Steven come with me. I feel like that's what made today one of my favorite days of this week. When we got home though, I didn't quite feel like my exercise itch had been scratched. I wanted a little bit more. So I hopped on the Peloton bike and did a quick 15 minute ride and now I am fully satisfied. So I will see you guys for tomorrow, our last day, also my rest day. And I struggled so much like actually waking up and getting my day started on the first rest day but I'm not sure if that's because I wasn't working out or if it's because it was just earlier in this week and my body and my brain wasn't like fully adjusted to the new sleep schedule so we'll see we'll see how it goes tomorrow good morning friends Day seven, our last day. It's 6.40 right now. It is starting to get light outside and I do not feel like getting up. <laughs> we did it. We made it out of bed. The dogs are up with me today and I'm just having a really hard time shaking off the sleepy even though I did get like eight hours of sleep last night. I don't know. It kind of feels like without the driver of needing to do something, of needing to do a workout, it's a lot harder to wake up. Hello. Bruzy. And when you have Chihuahua sitting on you, it's very hard to get off the couch. <laughs>
<laughs> so the week is over and I am so much more into the 6 a.m. workouts than I ever expected to be. I'm, I'm surprised at how good it felt. Like, especially because I was going to bed early, I still got adequate sleep most nights. And working out so early in the morning just made me feel like energized and awake and ready to go. And it definitely wasn't just the waking up early either. Working out was a huge piece of that puzzle in me feeling so good. On the off days where I didn't work out, I felt significantly more sleepy and it just took me so much longer to actually get up, get my day started, get going. Working out was, it was like my natural coffee. And from a productivity standpoint, I feel like this week was great. Just getting my morning started so early set me up for a good day. I also loved adding some more variety into my exercise routine instead of just pelotoning every day. But the biggest negative for me, honestly, was just going to bed so early. I feel like this week I, I missed out on the quality time that Steven and I usually spend together in the evenings. We'll watch a show together or cuddle on the couch with the dogs or play video games, like just do something together and then go to bed together at the same time. But because I was going to bed so much earlier than him, it really cut into that time except for bachelor night. And I also just really didn't like going to sleep without Steven. I really missed that. Maybe I'd feel differently if Steven was doing the 6 a.m. schedule with me, but he usually gets out of bed between 7.30 and 8.30. So around the time I was finishing my workout, getting showered, getting ready, he was usually just getting up. Except for the two days that he joined me with the walk and the hike. Those were really, really nice. So with that all being said, now that the video is finished and I felt so good, will I be sticking with the 6 a.m. workout? Not 6 a.m., but I'm thinking 7 a.m. On weekdays, specifically for weekdays. I, I loved getting that early start on my day and I really wanna keep that, but I think having that extra hour in the evenings and then waking up an hour later will give me that same effect, but I'll have more of that time back in the evenings with Steven. So on weekdays, I am gonna try to be asleep by 10 with a 7 a.m. alarm and try to get right into a workout when I wake up after I have breakfast and everything, but I will give myself more leeway to sleep in and just chill on the weekends. As someone who sets my own schedule, it can be really easy to fall into some bad habits with my like sleep and wake and work schedule. Because at the end of the day, the only thing really stopping me from sleeping until 1 p.m. and then staying up till 3 a.m. is my brain. <laughs> And sometimes that willpower is not as strong as I would like it to be. But I think this video and this week just really proved to me that I, as much as I like to think I'm not a morning person, having an early morning schedule makes my day better, I think. And I think it was really helpful for me to at least give this a try because I don't think I would have started setting 7 a.m. alarms if it wasn't for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and a huge thank you to Fabletics for sponsoring. Remember to check out Fabletics from my link in the description. They have new styles dropping every Thursday. Fabletics carries sizes extra, extra small to 4X and I am wearing a 1X in everything you saw in this video. They really are just my favorite for leggings, and sports bras and all things exercise apparel. Also, Fabletics added a new feature where you can literally just search my name on their website and all of the outfits and items that I've talked about or worn recently will show up so you don't have to remember like the actual names of the things. Just search my name on Fabletics and everything from this video will pop up. And if you wanna join their monthly VIP membership program for extra savings, use my link in the description and you can get any two bottoms for $24 plus 50 percent off everything else and free shipping on that first VIP order. So thank you so much for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I will see you next time. Bye!